The subscription will help us produce more meaningful content which will keep you informed of happenings in Liberia when it comes to uh, development in the country. On today's edition of the program Talk Liberia, we will be looking at the 72nd SKD Boulevard Road. I know someone will want to say, hey, what about this road that South Liberia want to talk about? Patrick Ray want to say yeah, but there is something so much important about this 72nd rule that you wish to note about. Uh, stay with us as we take a break to be back with more important information concerning this rule and giving you uh, the latest report on how the status of this rule currently look and what are those current development that is taking place don't go that way because there, there are more important things that need to be discussed <laughs> Welcome back. Over the past 10 to 15 years, uh, right after the Civil War, this rule has been so bad for residents to even make their way out of uh, the 72nd to the various junctions 2 and 4, like uh, Boulevard Junction and that of uh, 72nd Junction. It has been so bad, the rule went narrow, but the rule became peef during the administration of the former president, Edin Johnson Sirleaf. So, Ellie Johnson Sirleaf uh, government was the government that initiated uh, the pavement of this road from 72nd Junction to that of Bolivar Junction. So, during the training of Madam Ellie Johnson Sirleaf, a uh, resident of this road uh, got a pith road from the 72nd Junction to that of the Boulevard Junction. So uh, the road there been paved during her administration. But at that time, a uh, certain portion of this road was very bad for traveling and it has a whole lot of historical records when it comes to uh, moving along this road, most especially uh, during the night time. So there is portion of this road uh, the Swami area uh, from the Zio Hotel going up to now where you call the Sab building. That portion of the road were very bad because uh, between there there is a huge swamp area and there were no one residing in that area. So many days uh, there will be bad news about this road in the night time. So when people wake up there will just be some uh, a bad news. Either you will have a body fall in a car and push into the, the swamp area or uh, when day breaks you either find a body lying along the road or uh, you either find a motorcyclist cough with his back uh, falling along the road or you either find a motorcyclist who has been drunk and lying along the road and his back is taken so there has been lots of bad things happening along uh, this this road uh, during the night time so it has been inconvenience for uh, citizens to travel along this road for traffic to easily f a, a, a move during the night time along this road but there is one more important thing that today we will also like to talk about that got sat liberia so impressed to give you a courage of the current status of this road 
are conditioned. Now, with the CDC-led government, there has been numerous complaints concerning this identical rule. So, under this government, uh, the government thought of providing electricity for its citizens across Liberia. And, you know, just recent times, someone made a comment on one of our videos and said, I saw Liberia, why? You are only focusing on road, but what about the health sector? What about uh, the, the education sector? What about electricity? What is happening in, in those areas? We also want to know. So I say, wow, I think that's a good uh, concern of the public. So this has given us an impression to bring you this courage so that you can know when it comes to electricity, also how well uh, government is working uh, to make sure that the city gets beauty and fire with electricity. So the CDC-led government under his administration of Dr. George Weir has been implementing lot of good things uh, from the beginning of his regime. The CDC government under the administration of President George Manning Weir electrified the whole road from the ERWA Junction Street to town. And that road has been electrified with uh, street lights planted along the road. So with the kind of uh, news, and that is not only if, uh, the Congo town area, but also the Puebla area, some parts of Puebla area, uh, the government uh, erected pools, uh, street lights pools along that area. Not only that side, the Japanese freeway, that area have street lights all along the road. But today, what most here is the 72nd row. You see the 72nd row with the numerous complaints that have been coming up from this road, the government had thought it was to fully electrify this road from the Boulevard Junction to the 72nd Junction. And it is not only one side with current, but both sides of the road with current. So as you can see in this courage, the light pole has been erected right along the road. At both ends of the road, there has been poles erected there. And this is not just an ordinary pole like a wood pool but it's an iron pool iron pool that has been schooled along this road and with what we are seeing here it tells that in no time there will be the installation of the lights and we will have a full electricity along this road that whenever you are traveling during the night time the road is going to be bright with electricity so you will not experience any fear along this road while traveling during the night time and but that means it is also going to help provide security because you know uh during the night time when there is no current the area become terrible uh and become vulnerable to criminals most often uh, these hijackers use this road during the night time to hijack the motorcyclists and take their bags but if you have street lights planted along the road probably this may not be experienced at a world before because you have people to watch from long distance and, and see who is in the dark and what is happening also during the night time again over the years there has been a lot of different things happening along this the second skd boulevard road people are engaging into our businesses along the road and the guys are also here too who thought it necessary to make maximum use of the swamp area so that they can do some clearing in order that this place will not look much fearful so today we will take our microphone to them to hear from some of them how do they feel about the current development that is taking place on this road or a development that has been taking place on this road? How do they feel about it? And what do they think that government need to do more and more? So let us now uh, see how well we can talk to any of them. Uh, hello and welcome my brother to Sad Liberia Online Television. What is your name? I'm my name is Jensen Jerry. Okay, uh, Vincent, how long have you been on this roof? Oh, on this roof. Okay. Now we are seeing that there are light poles along the road, planted along the road. How do you feel about it? Uh, I'm happy for that. Because the road was bad, getting on, all the bad things were going on in between. But at least we're happy 
There's a current coming on, the place is opening, our cell keeping our time here, washing our car, looking for our living, we all trouble, we're happy for that. Yes. So how right a business go along the road uh, with this car washing business? How how well it is ready to go? Oh, we can complain, but thing is not fun, but at least some days, there was small, small things to pay. What do you expect of the government? I expect the government to do more than that. Said. At least the quarrying when it comes, Baba to start going, we'll stop going on and we we'll start doing all the small things in the world. And at least I want able to help us to develop our neighbor to make our car work to be improved. Yes, because our car work is not improved, to be improved and help us. So, looking at this area, it's a fun area that the government can do a lot of uh, activities here at uh, the swamp area, which will be very far. So what help do you need government to do to help uh, those who are washing cars along uh, the 72nd SKD Boulevard here? Oh, my help is helping the government. I need to help all the people up there. for us. Anything else you want to say? Uh, for now, I'm happy to the Thank you, my brother. Let me see who else I can talk to. Uh, I see one brother. Yeah, my brother. Hello. Uh, what is your name? Patrick Dennis. Patrick Dennis. Uh, Patrick Dennis, welcome to Sun Life Rural Online Television. What are you doing here currently? What? So how do you feel about the process of the development along the road here? Very fast. Fun and happy. What the government are doing for us in the world. I'm going to do it for you. I'm happy as this. I think the current plan is to be better for all our people. I think we are going to get for all the one or two people. Why are we going to do it for ourselves? All the people are doing ourselves in this. How well, how well, uh, Patrick, how well actually the business go along the road? Ah, uh, the business is so far we have on the moon at the front of the day, I think we are doing the bread with it. All right, we say thank you, Patrick, for speaking uh, with uh, Sun Liberia Online Television. It's a pleasure uh, being with you guys. Thank you ever so much. On to this edition of the program called Liberia, this is how we like to do it. Yes sir, yes sir! Conclusion of the program of Latvia. Please make sure you guys are on our channel. Yes, guys, we have the chairman of the Lion of the Union. I am Patrick and the producer and presenter of the program of Latvia. Goodbye.